Hi, this is JC with Ralph for Me. Today's uh, webinar will be about third-party logistics companies so that you don't have to worry about sacrificing your uh, quality. Um, who, who do we have joining today? Looks like we got Steven, we got Melanie, we got Megan, uh, looks like James is joining as well. Welcome guys. Welcome to, to today's webinar. Um, so. The main concern today is how can we use vendors or third-party logistics companies and, um, and, and the main concern is, well, how can I make sure that I don't sacrifice my, my quality of service when using a third-party company? Well, today's um, uh, Rob for Me's functionalities will help us do that and make sure that we're using only the right vendors, make sure that we're um, keeping a good eye on what the vendors are doing and uh, making sure they're uh, meeting our standards. So um, without more exp any more explanations, we're going to go into Rob for Me right now. I'm going to go into my home account. Once I go into the system, all I see is my uh, list of routes that have been saved. And um, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new vendor. So I will go into my team section. I will add a new vendor like this, add vendor. I will type in the name of the company, the contact name, their email, their phone number, the rates, and all the variables that I need to include to create a vendor. Once I save that vendor, they will display on a list like this. Once I have my vendors ready, all I have to do is go and create users. As, a, as, as the account owner, I will create sub-users, uh, drivers, driver one, driver two, driver three, and so on. Once the driver is created, I will go and modify the user. Driver name, their email, I can set up their password. I can also set up the roles and access options. I can set up the driver to be able to make changes to the route on their mobile device. I can have them uh, have access to the global address book and see all the customers that we have available or restrict that um, access. Multiple functionalities on their user role and access options that you can modify accordingly to um, accordingly to your best practices. Okay? So once I do that, all I have to do is just click on the drop down for vendor right here and select the correct one. Select from the drop down. Okay. In this case, we're going to use this class. All right. So then we modify the user and save it, basically. Okay. Now, once I have my drivers assigned to the specific vendor, and I go to my routes map, I can start distinguishing which routes belong to what vendor. So if I select multiple ones right here, like this, I'll start identifying which route belongs to what vendor. Once I do this, I can simply go to the file, download this route at the same time, and export to determine which, um, to compare the routes and determine which company is performing better for me. I will assign the user as well to each route let's say driver one, apply. Once the driver has been assigned, I can recognize maybe the name of the driver or the domain on their email and determine which vendor um, this driver belonged to. Once I do that, like I said, I can export my list of, my list of routes at the same time to compare performance and determine which vendors have been um, been more successful or more uh, profitable for my company. Okay. At this point, um, we're basically done with this explanation. Uh, I'm going to open it up for a quick Q&A. If anyone's got a question, please feel free to ask right now. Uh, yeah, I have a question. Um, 
Yes, Stephen. So how can you uh, view all the activity for a specific driver? Okay. Well, that's a very good question, Stephen. All you will have to do is go into your route section, onto your routes list. You can then call in by the name of the driver. Driver one. Oops. Hold on a second. Okay. As you can see, uh, right now I can select the driver that I have assigned, depending on what what the driver is doing. I can select the routes and then file, export, and then create a CSV file so that I can have um, manageable data and compare what the driver is doing. Does that answer your question? Yep. All right, that's my question. All right. Anything else? Anyone else has a question? All right, fantastic. Well, in that case, guys, we're uh, going to finish um, today's webinar. I hope this was helpful, and um, uh, be on the lookout for the next one um, on, on the next uh, easy-to-use functionality from Route for Me. Thank you. Have a good one.